um, converting uh, legacy data to the drawings that you have. I know in the past I've, I've worked at companies where they've taken this uh, information, they've printed out a PDF and sent it off to a third party uh, company that would take the model and apply PMI information to it. Siemens has uh, caught onto that, so they've actually put a button in, and I believe it started in NX12, that you can convert your legacy data into PMI information that uh, goes into the 3D environment. So I'll jump back over to NX, and here's my legacy drawing, and just so that I verify that there's no PMI information in there, I'm gonna just snap through the views real quickly here to show you that there's no PMI information, there's no uh, subnodes underneath those to expand. And I'm just gonna add a quick note here. And if anybody uh, is gonna pick on me, now's the time because I'm putting finish, same finish on two different surfaces. We know on a rotor, they're both gonna be different in this. But uh, for demo purposes, I'm gonna add in another uh, arrow line on arrow, uh, arrow head onto this so that um, you can see the surface that it's connected to. All right, so now I'm gonna go to my tools and go ahead and convert this into the 3D environment. So I don't have an extra sheet there. I'm gonna put it either into views and you can see that highlighted in my navigator over to the left. Or I can go ahead and switch back to uh, drafting, or I'm sorry, drawing, and then send that over into my 3D environment. It may take a few minutes because my table that I created on this drawing was actually an embedded uh, Excel spreadsheet. So it's probably looking at that information before it converts it. And then once it's done, I'll just jump back into my 3D environment, look at my different views. You can see there's some sub nodes there underneath my left view, ortho view, and my PMI information showing up. And then for my table, it's under sheet one because of the drawing, you're on sheet one. So as I rotate it, you can see the text is legible from zero to 180 degrees.